today on Scholars Bowl, the Eagles of Cosby High School meet an academic competition with the Indians of Dobbins Bennett High School from Upper East Tennessee. Hello and welcome to game 13 of the Channel 2 and 15 Scholars Bowl to determine the academic champion of the East Tennessee area. I'm Jim Keene. I'll be the moderator for this program. And let's get right into the team introductions. First from Cosby High School, Danny James, the sophomore. He's in the Talented and Gifted program, the Academic Olympics, and he wants to go to UT and major in nuclear engineering. Zach Bryant, a sophomore, took part in the Walter State Talented and Gifted program and the Academic Olympics, wants to go to UT and study pre-med. A senior, Joshua Hogan, Tennessee Governor's School, National Young Leaders Conference, Student Council, Senior Class President, the Beta Club, Spanish Club, Theater Group, Annual Staff, wants to go to UT and major in communications, possibly. Gabe Peer, a sophomore, a life scout, who's who in American high schools, and the Beta Club. And the alternates, first a parent who comes along as a chauffeur also, you know how that goes, Karen Bryant, then Hassan, McNabb was in the 7th and 8th grade Scholars Bowl, placed third in the science in 8th grade, was in the tag program, Just Say No Club, and the coach for the Cosby Eagles, Sharon Balch, a chemistry and physical science instructor. Now for Dobbins Bennett, the Dobbins Bennett Indians. First across the top, Jason Williams, a senior, National Merit Semifinalist, Varsity Baseball, Junior Classical League, National Honor Society, Beta Club, School Literary Magazine staff, and the Tough Club. Chad Baker, a senior, National Merit Semifinalist, 1991, Governor's School for the Sciences, President of the National Honor Society, the Captain of the Team, Glenn Fugit, a senior, Holston Valley Hospital Chemistry Award, National Merit Commended Student, Beta Club, National Honor Society, Junior Classical League, Track and Field. And finally, across the top, Spence Ganey, a senior, National Honor Society Beta Club, Tennessee Governor's School for the Sciences, two gold and one silver medals on the National Latin Exam, Junior Classical League Guitar Club, Varsity Heavyweight Wrestler, Track and Field. The alternates for Dobbins Bennett, Stephen Kroll, a junior, band, Junior Classical League, Carpenters Helpers, Mark Franklin, a junior, Junior Classical League, Beta Club, National Honor Society, National Thespian Society, American Mensa, National Latin Exam Honors Leadership Class. And he also, just as a sideline, does over 100 impressions. And if I die today, then maybe we can get you to come out and do Rich Little or something. Okay, Christy Happany, a senior, National Honor Society, Secretary, Beta Club, Vice President of the German Club, Band, runs cross country. A parent from Dobbins Bennett, and also a chauffeur, Nyla Fugit and Allison Dyer. Uh, a junior, National Honor Society, Odyssey of the Mind, French Club. The coach for the team, Marty Sism, Physical Sciences and Earth Sciences. And another parent coming along to cheer the team on and act as chauffeur, Marion Kroll. Those are the teams. This is the game. Both teams ready? We begin with a toss-up. Stand by your buzzers. We invite you at home to play along. He was a railroad agent and telegrapher at Redwood Falls, Minnesota when he bought a shipment of watches and began a mail order business. He moved his mushrooming business to Chicago in 1893 and through inventive advertising and promotion via his popular catalog developed a mail order dynasty. For 10 points, name Joshua Cosby. Uh, Sears. Sears is correct. Richard Sears, he spawned a successful department store chain. Here's the first toss-up going to Cosby. On the globe, the latitudes between these two parallels are sometimes called the tropics. For 10 points each, name these two parallels. Need an answer, Jocko. 23 degrees, north and south. We were looking for Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Okay, a toss-up for both teams. A sudden flowering of free-floating plants on the ocean surface can cause the water to run a dirty rust color for 10 points. What is the popular name for this coastal phenomenon? Jason Dobbins Bennett. An algae bloom? No, we can't accept that. Cosby, do you want to try it? 
You've heard of it. You may not have recognized it, the red tide. Here's a toss-up for both teams. Some phrases, such as make a bed or change your mind, have a meaning that is very different from their literal meaning. What do we call these phrases? Jason Dobbins Bennett. Idioms. Idioms is correct. Here's a 20-point trot or bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. The autonomic nervous system is divided into two basic nerve networks. For 10 points each, name them. Need an answer, Glenn. Um, peripheral and centroid. It's sympathetic and parasympathetic. Okay, another toss-up for both teams. For 10 points, what is the geographical term for a narrow strip of land connecting two larger... Joshua Cosby. Isthmus. Isthmus is correct. It connects two larger land areas. Okay, a bonus try for you, Cosby. For five points each, what notes are designated by the four spaces in the treble clef staff? Need an answer, Joshua. E, G, B, D, and F. Uh, it's F, A, C, E, and I believe you got three. Is that correct, judges? Got three. Three. Fifteen points for you, Cosby. Here is a toss-up for both teams, both teams ready. It may be a subtle play on the initials IBM, for if you subtract one letter from each initial, you come up with a sinister computer. Spence, Dobbins Bennett. Hal. Hal, that's correct, Hal 9000. The sinister computer created by Arthur Clarke in 2001, A Space Odyssey. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. For five points each, what cities and states house the Hall of Fame for the following sports? And please be specific. First, for baseball. Cooperstown, New York. Correct. Next, professional football. Kenton, Ohio. Correct. Next, basketball. Uh, Memphis, Tennessee. No, it's Springfield, Massachusetts. And fourth, volleyball. Boston, Massachusetts. It's Holyoke. Massachusetts, you were in the right state there. Two correct, 10 points for you. Here's a toss up for both teams. Carnivorous animals are meat eaters. What term applies to animals, Zach Cosby? Herbivore. Uh, no, we can't uh, accept that. I'll read the whole question for Dobbins Bennett. Carnivorous animals are meat eaters. What term applies to pl animals that eat both plants and animals? Jason, Dobbins Bennett. Omnivores. Omnivores is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. Each insect has six legs and three distinct body parts. For five points each, 20 for all three, name the three distinct body parts of insects. Head, thorax, and abdomen. Correct. There's your 20 points. Here's a toss-up for both teams. The 13 colonies openly declared their independence on July 4th, 1776. Which of the delegates to that momentous conference signed the Declaration of Independence, then said, there, I guess King George... Chad, Dobbins Bennett. John Hancock. John Hancock. There, I guess King George can read that without his spectacles. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. Germany has contributed much to the field of bacteriology. For example, Paul Ehrlich won the 1908 Nobel Prize in Medicine for work, which included a treatment for syphilis. For 20 points, what German bacteriologist won the 1905 prize for work which included studies of anthrax, tuberculosis, conjunctivitis, cholera, the plague, and malaria. No answer. Robert Koch. A toss-up for both teams. More French kings were named Louis than any other name. For 10 points, which of these was known as the saint? Louis the Ninth, another toss-up. Cyanide is a popular poison in thrillers. For 10 points, the cyanide process, or cyanidation, is the most common process for extracting what precious metal from ores? Joshua Cosby. Iron. No? You want to try it, Dobbins Bennett? 
Jason. Silver. Silver, yes. And gold is the other one. Okay, another try at a 20-point bonus for you, Dobbins Bennett. For five points each, name four of the six simple machines. Wedge, incline, incline plane, pulley, and lever. You got four, right. The others were wheel and axle and the screw. Okay, a toss-up for both teams. The scientific genius failed chemistry when talking of his quantum theory said, God does not play dice. Jason Dobbins Bennett. Einstein. Einstein, right. Okay, here's another try at a 20-point bonus for you, Dobbins Bennett. The House of Commons in Canada uses two official languages. For 10 points each, name them. French and English. Correct. Okay, another toss-up. Both teams get be ready on this one. In 1754, delegates from seven colonies met in a New York town and proposed a plan for Union for America. For 10 points, name this New York town. Chad Dobbins Bennett. Albany. Albany is correct. Another try for a 20-point bonus for you, Dobbins Bennett. For five points each, name the bodies of water in which, into which the following rivers empty. Number one, the Mississippi. Gulf of Mexico. Correct. Number two, the St. Lawrence. Atlantic Ocean. Correct. Number three, the Volga. Black Sea. No, that's the Caspian Sea. And number four, the Potomac. Chesapeake Bay. Chesapeake Bay, correct. 15 points for you, three correct on it. A toss-up for both teams. Movement of substances against a concentration gradient is called active transport. For 10 points, in the human body, does active transport occur in the spleen, heart, or kidneys? Jason Dobbins Bennett. Kidneys. Kidneys, that's correct. Okay, a, a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. For 20 points, who was the first U.S. president who officially called the president's residence the White House? Madison. No, it was Theodore Roosevelt. A toss-up for both teams. Of the six major rivers that drain the African continent, only one flows north toward the Mediterranean. Jason Dobbins Bennett. The Nile. The Nile is correct. We'll give you another 20-point bonus try. The word Nippon is the native name for what country? Japan. Japan is correct, 20 points. Here's a 10-point bonus question, for, or toss-up question for both teams. For 10 points, what is the mathematical term for a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides? Joshua. Rhombus. No, do you want to try it, Dobbins Bennett? Spence, Dobbins Bennett. Trapezoid. Trapezoid is correct. Here's another try for a 20-point bonus for you, Dobbins Bennett. For five points each, what four elements constitute about 96%? We won't get to that bonus. Uh, that's the end of the first half. With a score at the end of the first half, Dobbins Bennett, 205, Cosby, 35. The, we will be back with the second half. We do hope you're playing along, but first, we invite you to watch this. This year's Scholars Bowl competition is a single elimination tournament featuring 40 teams from high schools in our viewing area. Be sure to watch these upcoming games. The winning team in this year's Scholars Bowl tournament will receive the Scholars Bowl Traveling Trophy, donated by All-American Trophies of Knoxville. 
In addition, the top four placing teams will receive plaques from All-American trophies. The second place team will receive a set of World Book Encyclopedia, donated by Mary Brown, the local sales representative of World Book. The first place team will receive a $1,000 scholarship, donated by Irene and Dudley Brewer of Knoxville. For the fifth year, the judges for our Scholars Bowl tournament are Elizabeth Martinson, retired school teacher from Knoxville, and Dr. Victor Hobday, retired from the University of Tennessee. Our scorekeeper is Ann Parrott, a public TV volunteer. If you'd like to enter your high school team in next year's Scholars Bowl, or for more information or comments on this year's tournament, write to the address shown on the screen. Welcome back to the second half of the Scholars Bowl, this edition of Scholars Bowl, featuring the Cogsby High team against Dobbins Bennett. The score at, as we begin the second half, Dobbins Bennett 205, Cosby 35. We have a substitution uh, for Dobbins Bennett on the audience's right, Allison Dyer. Welcome, Allison. Both teams ready. Here we begin the second half with a toss-up. Which American poet wrote, tell me not in mournful numbers, life, Joshua Cosby? Poe. Okay, I'll read the whole question for Dobbins Bennett. Which American poet wrote, tell me not in mournful numbers, life is but an empty dream, for the soul is dead that slumbers and things are not what they seem. Chad, Dobbins Bennett. Walt Whitman. No, it was Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. A toss-up for both teams again. The French for leave alone is an economic doct doctrine, Zach Cosby. Laser fire. Sorry, we, the judges determined that uh, you were delaying on that. I'll read the question for Dobbins Bennett. The French for leave alone is an economic doctrine which states that the economy functions best when it is not interfered with by the government. It was an important philosophy during the formation of the American Republic. For 10 points, what's it called? Spence, Dobbins Bennett. Capitalism. No, it's laissez-faire. <laughs> Here's a, here is a, another toss-up. For 10 points, what is a standard term for a level, fan-shaped deposit formed at the mouth of a stream or river, Zach Cosby? Delta. Delta, that's correct. Here's a 20-point bonus try for you, Cosby. For 20 points, after the Watergate scandal, who pardoned Richard Nixon? Gerald Ford. That's correct. 20 points for you, Cosby. Here's a toss-up for both teams. Pakistan has a very dry climate. Very little rice is grown there. What is their major agricultural crop? Danny Cosby. Corn. No. Do you want to try it, Dobbins Bennett? Spence, Dobbins Bennett. Cotton. No, it's wheat. Here's another toss-up question. Carved objects made from this gem signify the five cardinal virtues, charity, modesty, courage, justice, and wisdom. For 10 points, what is this green gem? Joshua Cosby. Jade. Jade is correct. Here's a 20-point bonus try for you, Cosby. Here are the first three lines of a famous Negro spiritual. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land. Tell old Pharaoh. Now, for 20 points, state the last line. When Cameron was in Egypt land, let my Cameron go. No, we can't accept that. It's to let my people go. A toss-up for both teams. She has had a very successful music career and a mildly successful film career. Her films include Xanadu and Grease, and her songs, Chad Dobbins Bennett. Olivia Newton-John. Correct. Her songs include I Honestly Love You. Okay, a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. This famous American was the first to advocate daylight savings time. Name him. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin is correct. A toss-up question for both teams. Hands near your buzzers. For 10 points, what do we call the period in English history during which the Yorks and Lancasters vied Allison Dobbins Bennett? The Renaissance. No. Cosby, let me read the whole question for you. For 10 points, what do we call the period in English history during which the Yorks and Lancasters vied for the English throne? Joshua Cosby. The Wars of the Roses. The War of the Roses, correct. Okay, that, gives, that earns you a try at a 20-point bonus, Cosby. The English Parliament consists of two parts. 
For 10 points each, name them. How many English borrowed? Answer, Joshua. House of Lord and House of Commons. You got it. 20 points. <laughs> either, they, either you're a very good guesser or you know more than you think you know. Okay, another toss-up for both teams. Nickname Silent. It was said of him by Dorothy Parker on his death. How can they tell this person? And J Allison Dobbins Bennett. Calvin Coolidge. Calvin Coolidge, that's correct. <laughs> President sworn in by his father upon the death of Harding. A 20-point bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. For 20 points, who was the first U.S. president to greet returning astronauts aboard a recovery ship? Answer, Glenn. Kennedy. No, it was Nixon. Okay, a toss-up for both teams. A scientist who studies mammals is called a mammologist. For 10 points, what name is given to a scientist who studies fungi? Joshua Cosby. A fungologist. No. <laughs> Good guess, but not correct. Dobbins Bennett, you want to try? It's a mycologist. Mycologist. Another toss-up. His Hollywood career ended in 1952 when he was denied re-entry into the United States because of alleged immorality and left-wing ties. For 10 points, who was this great British comedian? Charlie Chaplin was his name. Another toss-up. Of the seven continents, Australia has the smallest land area. For 10 points, which continent has the smallest population? Chad, Dobbins Bennett. Antarctica. Antarctica is correct. Here is a 20-point bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. How much do you know about the planets? For five points each, answer these planetary questions. Number one, which of the nine known planets has the least mass? Pluto. Pluto is correct. Number two, which planet is the largest? Jupiter. Jupiter, correct. Number three, the brightest object in the sky besides the sun and moon is a planet. Which one? Venus. Venus, correct. Number four, which planet boasts a prominent feature called the Great Red Spot? Jupiter. Jupiter, correct. 20 points for you, Dobbins Bennett. Another toss-up for both teams. The 39th president of the U.S., this former president, Allison Jimmy Dobbins Carter. Bennett. Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter, correct. The president voted, was noted for the new spirit, a bonus for you, Dobbins Bennett. Though Italy is a peninsula, it is bordered on the east, the north, and the west by four countries. For five points each, name them. France, Switzerland, Germany. Albania. Answer, Glenn. France, Switzerland, Albania, and Austria. You got three correct, France, Switzerland, and Austria. The fourth is Yugoslavia. A uh, toss-up for both teams. For 10 points, what is the standard five-letter term for a material that contains more than one element and has metallic properties such as luster and electrical conductivity? Chad, Dobbins Bennett. Metal. Uh, no. Cosby, do you want to try it? Joshua. Metalloid. No, it's an alloy. Alloy. Here's a toss-up for both teams. For 10 points, what is the positive geometric mean between 2 and 32? Joshua Cosby. Dobbins Bennett, you want to try it? Allison. 17. No, it's 8. 8. The toss-up. This river, located in Southwest Asia, flows through the present countries of Turkey, Iraq, Zach Cosby. Girl. No, I'll read the whole question for Dobbins Bennett. <clears throat> this river located in Southwest Asia flows through the present countries of Turkey, Iraq, Syria, and empties into the Persian Gulf. The river was vital to ancient civilizations for irrigation and a water source. For 10 points, name it. Chad, Dobbins Bennett. Euphrates. The Euphrates is correct. Earns you a try at a 20-point bonus, Dobbins Bennett. In a solution, there is always a dissolved substance and a dissolving medium. 
For 10 points each, give the term used to describe number one, the dissolved substance, and number two, the dissolving medium of a solution. Solute and solvent. Solute and solvent, that's correct. A toss-up for both teams. It consists of a red field upon the center of which is depicted a blue circle edged with white. The circle contains three white five-pointed stars. At the end, uh, at the fly end of the flag is a blue strip. Joshua Cosby. Flag of Tennessee. The Tennessee State flag, you're correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Cosby. Identify the following books from a summary of their plots for 10 points each. Number one, a miser and linen weaver in the village of Ravelo has his gold stolen, but has joy returned to him by the adoption of a daughter, Epi. Answer, Josh. Uh, no answer. Silas Marner will not get to the second half of the bonus, but that's the end of the game. And the final score, Dobbins Bennett 330, Cosby 115. A very good game. We thank the parents and we thank the school for allowing their students to participate. We hope you enjoyed playing along with it at home. And doesn't it sometimes amaze you at how much these kids can actually call to life at the spur of the moment? That's our future, and our future's in good hands. Come on forward and congratulate your teams. Scholars Bowl is made possible by the support of viewers like you. Today, two high school teams vie for the academic championship of our viewing area. This is Public TV's Scholars Bowl. And today on Scholars Bowl, the Bulldogs of Bearden High School in Knoxville meet in a battle of brains and wits with the Indians of Dobbins Bennett High School in Kingsport, Tennessee. Hello, and welcome to Scholars Bowl. Game 27th, we're in the third round as we approach the crowning of the champion on Scholars Bowl for the year 1992. I'm Jim Keen, the moderator for this series. Let's get right on to the team introductions. First, the Bearden Bulldogs. Cheng Tao, he's a senior, National Honor Society, National Art Honor Society, Key Club, Science Olympiad, Cross Country, Track, and others. Mark Mondohana, he's a senior, Key Club, National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, Ski Club, French Club, Science Olympiad, Honor Roll, uh, Honor Society, Mock Trial, he'll be attending Duke next year, as you can tell by his, t by his shirt. Uh, John Morehouse, the captain of the team, a senior. Mock trial, he's an Eagle Scout, National Merit Semifinalist, Mu Alpha Theta. He'll be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And finally, across the desk, David ben Benhayen. He's a junior, Spanish club, math club, youth group, and key club. The alternates for the Bearden Bulldogs, Stephen Lorch, a junior, National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta. Dan Morse, he's a junior, Spanish club president, Mu Alpha Theta, Honors Society. He's won numerous awards, science fair champions. Uh, Laura Christian, a sophomore, band, National Junior Honor Society, Science Olympiad. Greg Ubbin, uh, he's a senior, Key Club, the National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta. Jonathan Hensley, a junior, National Honor Society and Key Club. Greg Ubbin, 
a senior Mu Alpha Theta National Honor Society Key Club National Arts Honor Society mock trial team wants to go to college and become a doctor to make the world safe for humanity, right? And uh, finally, Heath Fry, Mu Alpha Theta Key Club National Honor Society Science Olympiad. The coach, Kathleen Gooden, a teacher in chemistry. And we want to pay special, uh, uh, oh, I want to thank Dr. Richard Hobart for being in attendance again. Dr. Hobart is a member of the Board of Trustees of the East Tennessee Public Communications Corporation. We, are, we thank him for his presence and his friendship today. Dobbins Bennett, here's your team. Mark Franklin, a junior, Junior Classical League, Beta Club, National Honor Society, National Thespian Society, American Mensa, Na National Latin Exam Honors. Jason Williams, a senior, National Merit Semifinalist, Junior Classical League, National Honor Society, Beta Club, School Literary Magazine staff. The captain of the team today, Chad Baker, a senior, National Merit Semifinalist, 1991 Governor's School for the Sciences and President of the National Honor Society. Finally, across the desk, Spence Ganey, also a senior, National Honor Society, Beta Club, Tennessee Governor's School for the Sciences, two gold and one silver medal on the National Latin Exam, Junior Classical League, the Guitar Club. The alternates, Glenn Fugit, a senior, Holston Valley Hospital Chemistry Award, National Merit Commended Student, Beta Club, National Honor Society. Stephen Kroll, a junior, band, Junior Classical League and Carpenter's Helpers. Kelly Bergen, a senior, National Honor Society, Beta Club, National Merit Finalists. Allison Dyer, a junior, National Honor Society, Odyssey of the Mind and the French Club. And Christy Happany, a senior, National Honor Society Secretary, Beta Club, Vice President of the German Club. The uh, coaches and uh, adults here accompanying the team, uh, Linda Fanslow, uh, the librarian, uh, and her husband, Bob. Is Bob here yet? Her husband, Bob, came down with you, with them, and he is a retired teacher from Dobbins Bennett. Also, Marion Kroll, a parent coming along to help the team and cheer them on. Those are the teams. This is the game. We begin with a toss-up. Both teams ready? Let's begin. For 10 points, how many radians are contained in 540 degrees? Chad, Dobbins Bennett. 5 pi over 2. No. Do you want to try it, Bearden? John. 3 pi. 3 pi radians. That's correct. Here's a, uh, here's a bonus try for you, Bearden. Some climatologists predict that carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere will double in the next 50 to 70 years, raising global surface temperatures enough to melt the polar ice caps and flood coastal cities. For 20 points, identify this theory. Uh, global warming? No, I can't accept that. I can't accept greenhouse effect or the greenhouse theory. The global warm warning, warming is the thing that it predicts. The toss-up for both teams again. A grasshopper breathes through pairs of tiny holes on the side of the ad abdomen and thorax. Chad, Dobbins Bennett. Spiracles. Spiracles, that's correct. What's the name of those little buggers? Here's a bonus for you, Dobbins Bennett. Here's a geographical bonus question for 10 points each. Name the states in which the following are located. First, White Sands National Monument. New Mexico. Correct. Next, the White Mountains. Answer. Ver Vermont. No, that one's New Hampshire. We will give you 10 points on that bonus. Here's a 10-point toss-up for both teams. For 10 points, what is the five-letter name for any one of the green leaf-like structures that can be found between a flower's petals and its stem? Jason Dobbins Bennett. Sepal. Sepals is a correct answer. OK, here's a bonus for you, Dobbins Bennett. Charles Lindbergh's solo flight from New York to Paris was one of the most celebrated adventures during the years between the world wars. For 10 points each, tell me first, the name of Lindbergh's airplane. Spirit of St. Louis. Correct. And secondly, the exact year in which he made his epic flight. 26, 1926. No, we have to take uh, disallow that. It's 1927. You get 10 points on that. A toss-up for 10 points now for both teams. Here's a toss-up question to test your vocabulary. 
you can earn ten points for your team if you can give me a seven letter adjective starting with l that applies to someone who uses few words something i have never been accused of being laconic a toss up for both teams now here's a mathematical toss up listen carefully a man has four different shirts three pairs of slacks two pairs of Bermuda shorts and three pairs of shoes. For 10 points, if he can wear any of the shirts and pairs of shoes with any of the five pants, how many combinations of shirt, pants, and shoes does he have available? Sounds like my wife. The answer is 60. Another toss-up for both teams. Logophobia is the fear of talking. What do you call the fear of death? Mark. Necrophobia. Repeat. Necrophobia. No. Bearden, do you want to try it? John. Necrophobia. No, it's thanatophobia. Seems like somebody wrote a poem called Thanatopsis at one time about that subject, didn't they? Here's another toss-up for both teams. Tis education forms the common mind just as the twig is bent, the trees incline. Name the poet who wrote this couplet. Cheng Bearden. Pope. Repeat. Pope. That's correct, Alexander Pope. Here is a bonus try for you, Bearden, for 10 points each. Name these champion geographical phenomena. Number one, the longest river in the world. The Nile River. Correct, and number two, the largest gulf in the world. Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico. Correct, 20 points for you, Bearden. Okay, here's a 10-point toss-up, both teams ready. Though generally accepted as a means to speed cases through crowded courts, it is not without its detractors. This method allows a criminal to plead guilty to lesser charges in return for John Bearden. Plea bargain? Correct, in return for a lighter sentence. <laughs> okay, that earns you a try at a 20-point bonus, Bearden. Angle, side, angle is a geometric formula. For 10 points each, identify the following angles. Two angles whose total sum is 90 degrees are called... Complementary. Correct. Two angles whose sum is 180 degrees are called... Supplementary. Correct. 20 points for you, Bearden. Here's another toss-up for both teams. Because their music was used in the film The Graduate, they became extremely popular voices. Spence, Stubbins, Bennett. Simon and Garfunkel. Correct. Okay, that earns you a try at a 20-point bonus, Stubbins, Bennett. For 10 points each, answer these two questions about Shakespeare's tragedy, Macbeth. First, what is the name of the Scottish king who was murdered by Macbeth? Duncan. Duncan. Correct. Number two, the witches in the play refer to themselves as the Weird Sisters. How many Weird Sisters are there? Three. Three. Correct. 20 points for you, Dobbins Bennett. A toss-up for both teams in a very, very tight game. It's tied right now, as a matter of fact. This automobile was introduced with great fanfare, only to become the flop of the 50s. John Bearden. Edsel. That's correct. The 20-point bonus for you, Bearden. Can you run, a mi run the mile in terms of feet and yards? For 10 points each, tell me how many feet in a mile. 5,290. Correct. And how many yards in a mile? 1,760. Correct. 20 points for you, Bearden. Here's a toss-up for both teams now as we move along. Grassland vegetation goes by many different names in different areas. What do we call the high-altitude plains of southern Africa? Jason Dobbins-Bennett. Sahara. No. Bearden, do you want to try it? Mark. Uh, Savannah. No, it's the Velt. V-E-L-D. A toss-up for both teams. For 10 points, what state is the host for a world-famous 500-mile auto race each Memorial Day? Chad Dobbins-Bennett. Indiana. Correct. Okay, we'll give you a 20-point bonus try now, Dobbins-Bennett. Sam Houston became governor of two states. For 10 points each, name them. Texas and Tennessee. Correct. 20 points for you, uh, Dobbins-Bennett, and the game is tied once again. Here's a toss-up for both teams. When a physicist raises a gas to such high temperature that the electrons separate from their nuclei, he or she creates something. John Bearden. Plasma. Plasma is correct. A bonus try for you, Bearden. The Declaration of Independence and the Gettysburg Address are two of the most famous American historical documents. Give me the first verb in each document. I need 
a one word answer for each document in the proper chance must be used remember i need the first verb and the first verb only ten points for each answer john okay for the declaration of independence it is declare and the gettysburg address founded no uh for the Declaration of Independence, the word is becomes. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary. For the, Decla for the Gettysburg Address, it's brought four score and seven years ago, brought to this nation. Okay, a toss up for both teams. This device attached to the exhaust outlets of an engine uses platinum beads. Jason Dobbins Bennett. Catalytic converter. Correct, here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. For 20 points, which famous American essayist said that which we call sin in others is experiment in us? This is a bonus for Dobbins Bennett. Emerson. Correct. Ralph Waldo and Emerson is the correct answer. Ten, 20 points for you. Here's a toss-up. In which Shakespearean play will you find the character of Bottom? John Bearden. Uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. Correct, Bearden. Here's a bonus try for you. For five points each, name the four countries that border Italy. Switzerland, France, Spain, Switzerland, France, Spain. Switzerland. France, Spain. No, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Well, Answer, Austria. John. Uh, Switzerland, France, Yugoslavia, and Austria. Correct. 20 points for you, Bearden. Here's a toss-up for both teams now. For 10 points, to which sense does the term olfactory David Bearden. Smell. Smell is correct. And here is a bonus try for you, Bearden. Entomologist and, enti and etymologist. We will not get to that bonus. A very well fought game, very hard fighting by these two teams. The score at the half, Dobbins Bennett 130, Bearden 150. We'll be back for the beginning of the second half. After this, we invite you to watch it right along with us. This year's Scholars Bowl competition is a single elimination tournament featuring 40 teams from high schools in our viewing area. Be sure to watch these upcoming games. winning team in this year's Scholars Bowl tournament will receive the Scholars Bowl Traveling Trophy, donated by All-American Trophies of Knoxville. In addition, the top four placing teams will receive plaques from All-American Trophies. The second place team will receive a set of World Book Encyclopedia, donated by Mary Brown, the local sales representative of World Book. The first place team will receive a $1,000 scholarship donated by Irene and Dudley Brewer of Knoxville. For the fifth year, the judges for our Scholars Bowl tournament are Elizabeth Martinson, retired school teacher from Knoxville, and Dr. Victor Hobday, retired from the University of Tennessee. Our scorekeeper is Ann Parrott, a public TV volunteer. If you'd like to enter your high school team in next year's Scholars Bowl, or for more information or comments on this year's tournament, write to the address shown on the screen. Hello and welcome back to Scholars Bowl, the second half of this very exciting contest between Dobbins, Bennett, and Bearden, a very well-fought game so far. The score at the half, Dobbins, Bennett, 130, Bearden, 150. That's one bonus question separating the two teams, or two toss-ups. Very tight, no substitutions at halftime. The teams remain the same. The, half, the second half begins with a toss-up. Are both teams ready? 
here is the toss up the business of america is business this was a famous quote by a former president of the u s who was that president john bearden mckinley no do you want to try it dobbins bennett chad nixon no it was calvin coolidge another toss up for both teams ready for ten points what is the musical term for a chord of three pitches mark bearden tonic no do you want to try it dobbins bennett it's called a triad a toss up for both teams what apollo eleven astronauts mother's maiden name is moon I recognize the fact that we are bordering on insignificance, but it's Buzz Aldrin. Here's a toss-up for both teams. In zoology, it's a small carnivorous burrowing animal native to North America. Jason Dobbins Bennett. True. No. Bearden, I'll read the question for you. In zoology, it's a small carnivorous burrowing animal native to North America, Asia, and Europe. In chemistry, it's the mass of an element or compound. In dermatology, it's a spot or protuberance on the skin. For 10 points, what is this word? David. Mole. Mole is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Bearden. For 10 points each, on which continent would you have found these ancient places or peoples? First, Timbuktu. John? Asia. Where? Asia. No, that's Africa. Secondly, Inca. South America. Correct. Ten points for you, Bearden. Here's a toss-up for both teams now. For ten points, to what Hindu Arabic number is the Roman numeral MDCCCLXXVI equal? Mark, Bearden. 1986. No. Dobbins Bennett, do you want to try it? Spence. 1,987. No, it's 1,876. You had the right numerals. You just had them in the wrong order. A toss-up for both teams again. To enable a computer to communicate over a telephone line, a device, Chad Dobbins Bennett. Modem. Modem is correct. Here's a 20-point bonus try for you. He is sometimes given the nickname of Casket because when Alexander the Great obtained a golden jewel-encrusted casket from a defeated king, he declared, there is but one production in the world worthy of so costly a depository. For 20 points, did Alexander place his copy of Homer, Plutarch, Socrates, or Aristotle in this casket? Aristotle? No, it was Homer. Okay, another toss-up for both teams for 10 points. What war was settled by the Treaty of Ghent? Mark Bearden. The War of 1812. Correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Bearden. We Americans speak English, supposedly. So do the British. But sometimes we do not use the same words for the same items. For five points each, give the British equivalent for the following American words. First, apartment. Flat. Correct. Secondly, soccer. F football. Correct. Thirdly, roller coaster. Trolley? No, it's Big Dipper. And fourthly, aisle. Gangway. You got two out of the four. That's ten points for you. Who, here's a toss-up for both teams. Who asked the musical question, what's love got to do with it? Chad Dobbins Bennett. Tina Turner. Correct. Earns you a 20-point bonus try, Dobbins Bennett. The game continues to be very, very tight. In the late 1970s and early 80s, Rubik's Cube became a popular puzzle. For 20 points, in what country did its inventor reside? Romania? No, it was Hungary. Hungary. Here's a toss-up for both teams now. Striking effects can be created in music when accents are placed on normally weak or unaccented beats. For 10 points, what is that called? Mark Dobbins Bennett. Syncopation? Syncopation is correct. Okay, here's a bonus try for you. There are three types of muscle in vertebrate animals. Cardiac muscle, smooth muscle, and striated muscle. For 10 points each, First, which of these muscle types can be controlled at will? Striated. Correct. Secondly, 
cells of which muscle type are controlled by one nerve rather than a pair of nerves smooth no that's striated also you get 10 points out of 20 the score right now Dobbins Bennett 170 Bearden 190 we continue and we're going to speed up a little bit or at least I'll speed up the presentation to you in which city will you find the Elgin marbles The answer is London, a toss-up for both teams. In 1931, this actor made his best-known film, The Public Enemy. He won the 1942 Best Actor Oscar for Yankee Doodle Dandy. He died on Mark Dobbins-Bennett. James Cagney. Correct, Dobbins-Bennett. Here's a bonus drive for you. For 20 points, what is the darkest central part of a sunspot called? Umbra. That's correct for 20 points, Dobbins Bennett. Here's another 10 point toss up for both teams. A paramecium has a small and large nucleus. The small nucleus is called the micronucleus. What is the large nucleus called? John Bearden. Macronucleus? Macronucleus is correct. Here's a 20 point bonus try for you, Bearden. For 20 points, give me the standard mathematical term for a line which a curve approaches more and more closely as the curve is indefinitely extended. Asymptote. That's correct. Here's a 10-point toss-up for both teams now. What is the branch of medicine that deals with the diseases and hygiene of women? David Bearden. <coughs> Dobbins Bennett, do you want to try it? Jason. Gynecology. Gynecology is correct. Here's a 20-point bonus for you, Dobbins Bennett. Every heartbeat consists of two phases, systolic and diastolic for 10 points each. Spell systole and diastole. Need the answer, Chad. Systole is C-Y-S-T-O-L. Diastole, D-I-A-S-T-O-L. No, it's S-Y-S-T-O-L-E and D-I-A-S-T-O-L-E. No points on that bonus. Here's a toss-up for both teams. For 10 points, name the artist and sculptor who produced the brooding figures of evening and dawn on the tune of Lorenzo de' Medici in Florence. Spence, Dobbins Bennett. Michelangelo. Michelangelo is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. Listen carefully. Here's a mathematical bonus question. Set A has 25 elements while set B has 35 elements. For 20 points, if the union of the two sets has 45 elements, how many elements are in the intersection of the two sets? 10. 10. Chad? 10. No, the answer is 15. Here's a toss-up for both teams now. The Reverend Martin Luther King, Sr., the father of the famous civil rights leader, died in 1984. Daddy King, as he was called, had spent more than half his life as a preacher at the Ebenezer Baptist Church. For 10 points, in what major city is that church located? Mark Dobbins Bennett. Atlanta. Atlanta is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. For 20 points, what is the radius of a circle represented by the formula 4x squared plus 4y squared equals one. Chad? One half. One half is correct. Here's a toss up for both teams now. The word I'm looking for is a type of rock, a list of candidates, and a kind of blackboard. What's the word? Maeve David Bearden. Slate. Slate is correct. Here's a bonus try for you. Of course, the Mississippi River shares its name with a southern state, but it has neither its origin nor its mouth in that state. For 10 points each, name the state in which the river originates and the state in which its mouth is found. Minnesota and Louisiana. Correct. That's 20 points for you. Here's another toss-up. Born in Hyde Park, New York, this former president was number David Bearden. Thomas Edison. No, I will give... Uh, it goes over to Dobbins Bennett. I'll read the question for you, Dobbins Bennett. This will decide the game. Born in Hyde Park, New York, this former president was number 32, Mark Dobbins Bennett. Who is Franklin Delano Roosevelt. You won the game, Dobbins Bennett. A very, very good competition. We hope that you're as nervous about it as we were and as expectant about it. These are two excellent schools, as you may have seen. And it was an extremely hard-fought game. Came right down to the last question after the buzzer. 
We hope you enjoyed it. Remember, the funding for this production is provided by people like you. You are important to giving these kids a chance to demonstrate some knowledge at instant recall of fact. We hope you enjoyed it. Come on out and congratulate your team. They earned it. We'll see you next time. by the support of viewers like you. Today, two high school teams vie for the academic championship of our viewing area. This is Public TV's Scholars Poll. And today on the Scholars Bowl, the Cherokee Chiefs from Rogersville, Tennessee, meet in academic competition with the Indians from Dobbins Bennett High School in Kingsport, right? Okay, good, good. Hello, I'm Jim Keene, and I'm the moderator for this program. Very exciting programs lately. We do hope that you've been watching and enjoying it. This is a fourth round action. The winner of this game automatically moves on to the semifinals, which start in about two games. We do hope that you'll stay around from that as we work toward declaring the academic champion of East Tennessee. First, let's get on to the team introductions for the Cherokee Chiefs from Rogersville, Tennessee. Mike Jones, Mike Sid Jr., Art Club, Key Club, Academic Decathlon Team. Then we have Kelly Price, a senior, president of the Beta Club, member of the Thespian Troop, editor of the school paper, attended Girls State, uh, she belongs to Save the K Planet Club and a new entry. She's the valedictorian of the class. Congratulations, Kelly. Uh, the captain of the team, Zane Foraker. He's a senior, national merit semifinalist, Boys State delegate, Beta Club, Key Club, cross country team. And finally, across the desk, Jason Schubert, a senior, Boys State delegate, Governor's School for Sciences, president of the Student Council, Beta Club. He wants to get into engineering when he graduates. The alternates for the Cherokee Chiefs, Timmy Leip, a senior, drafting club, tennis team, and art club. Kevin Elkins, he's a senior, art club, drafting club, school chorus, academic decathlon team, wants to attend ETSU and major in advertising. Nicole Witowski, also a senior, Holston Electric Co-op, essay winner, swim team coach, Save Our Planet Club, Governor's Energy Award, and the Beta Club. The coaches for the Cherokee Chiefs, Barbara Foraker, she is the librarian. That's the Cherokee Chiefs, now the Dobbins Bennett Indians. First across the desk, Mark Franklin, a junior. Junior Classical League, Beta Club, National Honor Society, National Thespian Society, American Mensa, National Latin Exam, Honors Leadership Class, and he does uh, over 100 impressions. We won't hold that against you, Mark. Okay, the next one, Jason Williams, a senior, National Merit Semifinalist, Junior Classical League, National Honor Society, Beta Club, School Literary Magazine staff. And the captain of the team, Chad Baker, also a senior, National Merit Semifinalist, 1991, Governor's School for the Sciences, president of the local National Honor Society. Finally, across the desk, Spence Ganey, also a senior, National Honor Society, Beta Club, Tennessee Governor's School for the Sciences, two gold and one silver medals on the National Latin Exam. Congratulations. Junior Classical League and varsity heavyweight wrestler. The alternates, Stephen Kroll, he's a junior, band, junior classical league, and Carpenter's Helpers. Kelly Bergen, a senior, National Honor Society, Beta Club, National Merit Finalist, Hiking Club. Glenn Fugit, a senior, Holston Valley Hospital Chemistry Award, National Merit Commended Student, Beta Club, National Honor Society, Junior Classical League. Christy Hapney, a senior, National Honor Society Secretary, Beta Club, band, cross country. And Allison Dyer, a junior, National Honor Society, Odyssey of the Mind, the French Club. The, we have a parent here, uh, Marion Kroll, a chauffeur, and Linda 
Fonslow, the librarian and the coach of the team. And the Dobbins Bennett team would like to thank Mrs. Bobby Leonard and their coach for their support. Mrs. Leonard is absent today due to illness. She normally comes down, so we hope you get well soon. The game begins with a toss-up. Are both teams ready? Here comes the first toss-up to begin the first half of this elimination, single elimination program. A junction where two functions of a computer meet or where a computer connects to peripheral hardware is called what? Zane Cherokee. Interface. Interface, correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Cherokee. For 20 points, what does the acronym CAT mean in aviation? Zane? Oh, we have no answer. It means clean air turbulence. Clear air turbulence, a very dangerous condition. Here's a toss-up for both teams now. For 10 points, name the disease that is typically carried by a female and inherited by her sons and that is characterized by the failure of the blood to clot properly. Jason Dobbins Bennett. Hemophilia. Hemophilia is correct. Here's a 20-point bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. It holds for gravity and illumination. It measures the force or effect of action at a distance. According to this law, force or effect between the two bodies varies inversely with the square of the distance between those two bodies. For 20 points, what is this law called? Coulomb's law? No, it's the inverse square law. Here's a toss-up for both teams. The life of a fungus begins when the fungus germinates from a reproductive cell. What is this reproductive cell called? Jason Dobbins Bennett. Spore. A spore, correct. Here's a 20-point bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. The term was originally used as a title for a composition similar to the serenade. Now, however, it refers to a reflective, melancholic piano piece. Chopin developed this form to its highest level. For 20 points, what is this musical term derived from the Latin for night? Chad? Nocturial? No, you were close. It's nocturne. Here's a toss-up for both teams again. The 11th president of the United States, his nickname was Young Hickory. Who is he? The name is James K. Polk. Another toss-up. Pewter is composed of an alloy of metals. 90% of this alloy is what metal? Jason Dobbins Bennett. Silver. No, do you want to try a Cherokee? Zane. Uh, gallium. No, pewter is 90% tin. Here's a toss-up for both teams again. This veteran of the Apollo 8 flight later became the president of Eastern Airlines. Who is he? You've seen him on television. His name is Frank Borman. A toss-up for both teams again. You are standing in a room that is 9 by 11. What is the perimeter of that room? Jason Dobbins Bennett. 40. 40 feet is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. Here's a question to test your knowledge of dates in early American history. I'll name two events. Please give me the year when each event occurred. You'll earn 10 points for each correct answer. And we can accept no leeway. First, the battles of Lexington and Concord. 1775. Correct. Secondly, the Treaty of Paris ending the Revolutionary War. Chad? 1783. Correct. You get 20 points, Dobbins Bennett. And here comes another 10-point toss-up for both teams. How many lines are there in a form of poetry known as a limerick? Zane, Cherokee. Four. No. Do you want to try it, Dobbins Bennett? Spence. Five. Five. Correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. I'm going to define two words which have the same pronunciation but different spellings. You can earn 10 points by correctly giving the pronunciation and an additional five points each for correctly spelling the words. The words I'm looking for are an adjective meaning hard or insensitive and a noun meaning a hard, thickened place on the skin. K. 
Callus. Correct. Now, do you want to try the spellings? The first spelling, C-A-L-L-O-U-S. Correct. And the second, C-A-L-L-U-S. Correct. 20 points for you, Dobbins Bennett, and here comes another 10-point toss-up for both teams. In what city did Dick Clark's American Band stand? Mark Dobbins Bennett. Philadelphia. Philadelphia is correct. The bonus try for you. In the Sierra Nevada, giant sequoias grow to more than 300 feet in height. But another tree also found in a national park grows to an even greater height. For 20 points, name it. Douglas fir? No, that's the redwood, and it's an inspiring sight if you see them. Here's a sports toss-up. In which Massachusetts city was the first football stadium built? Zane, Cherokee. Foxborough? No, do you want to try Dobbins Bennett? Chad? Boston? No, it's Cambridge. A toss-up for both teams again. A certain type of musician and the material through which an electric current can flow bear the same name. What is it? Spence, Dobbins Bennett. Conductor. Conductor is correct. Here's a bonus drive for you, Dobbins Bennett. This two-part bonus question is concerned with four-letter terms used in the earth sciences. For 10 points each, give me the four-letter terms that fit these descriptions. First, a sandbar built across a bay with one end attached to the land. Reef? No, that's a spit. And secondly, the rough granular ice surface of a glacier. Chad? No answer. It's a fern. That's a tough question. Here's a toss-up, a history toss-up for both teams now. In 1935, this act guaranteed the right of workers to join labor unions. For 10 points, name the act. Mark Dobbins Bennett. The Coalition Act? No. Do you want to try a Cherokee? Jason. The Work Progress Act. No, it's the Wagner Act. Another toss-up for both teams. What do you call the name of the person that examines organs or tissue for disease after they are extracted from the body? Spence, Dobbins Bennett. Histologist. No, do you want to try a Cherokee? Jason. Pathologist. Pathologist, correct, from pathological organisms. Here is a bonus try for you, Cherokee, for 20 points. Give me the standard musical term that is also used by magicians and that means very fast. Presto. Presto is correct, Cherokee, 20 points for you. Here is another toss-up for both teams. Which American coin contains an image of Monticello? Jason Dobbins Bennett. The nickel. The nickel, correct, a 20-point bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. Captain Cook discovered the Hawaiian Islands in 1778, but he did not call them that. For 20 points, what name did Cook give the Hawaiian Islands when he discovered them? Chad? No answer. The Sandwich Islands. Here's a toss-up for both teams again. People who study the habitat and community associations between individuals and populations are called what? Jason Dobbins Bennett. Ecologist. Ecologist, correct. Here is a bonus drive for you, Dobbins Bennett. Two planets have been postulated in their organ orbits determined mathematically before they were sighted or photographed with a telescope. For 10 points each, name them. Neptune and Pluto. Correct. You have 20 points, Dobbins Bennett, and here comes another 10-point toss-up. This literary term begins with an H. It means an obvious overstatement or exaggeration. Zane, Cherokee. Hyperbole. Hyperbole is correct. Here is a 20-point bonus try for you, Cherokee. <clears throat> In colonial America, alcoholic beverages were considered only beneficial, and accordingly, troops of the Continental Army were issued four ounces of hard liquor daily. But in 1784, a doctor spoke out denouncing such consumption. For 20 points, name this pioneer of the American temperance movement and signer of the Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin. You close. Benjamin Rush. Dr. Benjamin Rush. Here's another toss-up for both teams. We will not get to that toss-up. That's the end of the first half of play. 
with the score at the end of the first half. Dobbins Bennett 140, Cherokee 50. The game's still within reach. We do hope that you'll stay around for the second half, and we hope you'll join us in watching this. This year's Scholars Bowl competition is a single elimination tournament featuring 40 teams from high schools in our viewing area. Be sure to watch these upcoming games. The winning team in this year's Scholars Bowl tournament will receive the Scholars Bowl Traveling Trophy, donated by All-American Trophies of Knoxville. In addition, the top four placing teams will receive plaques from All-American Trophies. The second place team will receive a set of World Book Encyclopedia, donated by Mary Brown, the local sales representative of World Book. The first place team will receive a $1,000 scholarship donated by Irene and Dudley Brewer of Knoxville. For the fifth year, the judges for our Scholars Bowl tournament are Elizabeth Martinson, retired school teacher from Knoxville, and Dr. Victor Hobday, retired from the University of Tennessee. Our scorekeeper is Ann Parrott, a public TV volunteer. If you'd like to enter your high school team in next year's Scholars Bowl, or for more information or comments on this year's tournament, write to the address shown on the screen. Welcome back to the Scholars Bowl. As we begin the second half, the score, Dobbins Bennett 140, Cherokee 50. The game's still very much up for grabs. And we have a substitution for Dobbins Bennett. Stephen Kroll joins the team on the audience's extreme left. Welcome, Stephen. Both teams ready to begin the second half. We begin it with a toss-up, and here is that toss-up. The purchase of this piece of real estate, seen as one of the most important in U.S. history, was regarded at the time as scandalous and... Zane, Cherokee. Alaska. No, I'll read the whole question for Dobbins Bennett. The purchase of this piece of real estate, seen as one of the most important in U.S. history, was regarded at the time as scandalous and possibly unconstitutional. What was this territory added to the nation in the early 19th century? Chad Dobbins Bennett. The Louisiana Purchase. The Louisiana Territory, correct. Here is a 20-point bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. In medicine, this term is used to describe the artificial induction of vomiting. In psychoanalysis, it's applied to the release of previously repressed emotions or memories. In Aristotle's poetics, it described what is induced emotionally in the audience of a tragedy. For 20 points, what is the common term? Purging? No, it's a catharsis. A toss-up for both teams again. Who became the first female astronaut to go into space? Zane Cherokee. Sally Ride. Sally Ride is correct. Good, good guess, Zane. Here is a bonus try for you, Cherokee. Here's a question to test your knowledge of dates in early American history again. I'll name two events. Give me the year when each event occurred, and I need the exact year. Okay, we will throw that one out. That's a repeatable question from this game. Here's a 20-point bonus again. Uh... Here, an electrolyte is a chemical, this is for Cherokee, an electrolyte is a chemical that can conduct an electric current when dissolved in an appropriate solution. In the human body, electrolytes conduct electric currents in the nervous system. Of these principal human electrolytes, potassium, sulfate, chloride, bicarbonate, and calcium, for 10 points each, which two carry positive charges?
Answer is A. Calcium and bicarbonate. You got one right. The other one was potassium. A toss-up for both teams again. Two-thirds, this is a math one, so be careful. Two-thirds of a number added to itself is 20. What is the number? Mark, Dobbins Bennett. That would be, oh, let's see. Cherokee, do you want to try Kelly? Twelve. Twelve, correct. Here's a 20-point bonus for you, Cherokee. Isomerism, chemistry, scopic, and phonic may all be preceded by this trisyllabic prefix, meaning solid or hard. For 20 points, what is this prefix? Zane? Hypero. No, we could have also added too loud to that. It's stereo. Stereoscopic, et cetera, et cetera. Toss up again. In what city is the Guggenheim Museum located? Chad Dobbins Bennett. New York City. New York City, correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. In 1819, in the Adams Anis Treaty, Spain gave up the actual territory of a southern state and any future claims it might have on one western state. For 10 points each, name those states. Florida and Texas. You got one. Florida is correct. The other is Oregon. Here's a toss-up for both teams again. Ringed shank, threaded casing, screw, anchor, box, common, and finishing. Zane, Cherokee. Uh, fingerprint types. No. Uh, I will read the question for Dobbins Bennett again. Ringed shank. Threaded casing, screw, anchor, box, common, and finishing are types of widely used fasteners. What are they? Chad. Nails. Nails is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. For 20 points, which instrument does the concert master of an orchestra traditionally play? Clarinet. No, he plays the violin usually the first violin in an orchestra. Here's a toss-up for both teams. Who was known as the angel of the battlefield? Kelly, Cherokee. Joan of Arc. No, do you want to try it? Dobbins Bennett. Jason. Molly Pitcher. No, it's Claire Barton. Another toss-up for both teams. What name is used to connote an electron with a positive instead of a negative charge? Jason Dobbins Bennett. Positron. Positron, correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. What is the bowler's score in the following scenario? In the first frame, the bowler bowls a spare. In the second frame, the bowler knocks down five pins with the first ball and three with the second. Twenty-six. No. Uh, we can't accept that. Uh, the spare in the first frame plus what you get on the next ball. And then you add the final on for an open, so it's 23. Here's a bonus try for you, both teams. Name the composer who wrote West Side Story and conducted the New York Philharmonic Symphony for many years, Stephen Dobbins Bennett. Bernstein. Bernstein is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. For 10 points each, with which musical art form are Placido Domingo, Enrico Caruso, and Luciano Pavarotti associated, and how are their voices Classified. Chad? Opera and their tenors. Correct. Here's a 10 point toss up for both teams now. In 1949, a treaty was signed by 12 nations which provided for the mutual defense of those nations. Chad Dobbins Bennett. NATO? NATO is correct, the 12 Western nations. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. In one of Shakespeare's plays, Desdemona and Amelia are the wives of two key men in the play. Name those men for 10 points each. Uh, Sam and Bill. <laughs> We've got some Shakespeare actors up here, right? It's Otello and Iago. 
a toss up for both teams in golf what do we call the stick that holds a flag jason cherokee a pole no begins with the right letter chad or anybody from dobbins bennett it's called the pin here's a toss up for both teams niagara falls on the st lawrence river flows into lake ontario what lake provides the water for the falls Stephen Dobbins Bennett. Lake Erie. Lake Erie is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. Many vitamins have common names consisting of a single letter. For five points each, name each of the vitamins described. First, the absence of this vitamin checks growth, causes a general weakening of the body and promotes infections. Night blindness is among the effects of this deficiency. Vitamin A. Correct. Next. Uh, known as calciferol, this vitamin is essential for conversion of calcium and phosphorus into bone and tooth substance. Vitamin D. It's your old friend, isn't it? Okay, next, deficiency of this vitamin prevents the clotting of blood. Chad? E. No, that's K. And last, this vitamin is a preventative of scurvy. Lack of it causes soreness and stiffness of the joints, soreness of the gums, and loosening of the teeth. Vitamin C. Correct. Three out of four, 15 points for you, Dobbins Bennett. Another toss-up. In January 1960, America's most celebrated poet read at the presidential inauguration of John F. Kennedy, Jason Cherokee. Robert Frost. Robert Frost, correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Cherokee. The changes in the appearance of the moon during a month are called phases of the moon. For 10 points each, give the name of each of the following moon phases. When the moon is in the direction of the sun, the side toward you is dark. Name this phase. First quarter. No, when there's no moon, it's the new moon. And secondly, name the phase of the moon when the side of the moon toward you is in the sunlight. Full moon. Full moon, correct, 10 points. Here's another toss-up for both teams. A flat lowers a note a half step. What is the term for a sign which raises the note? Sharp. Zane Cherokee, sharp. sharp, correct. Here's a bonus drive for you, Cherokee. We will not get to that bonus. That's the end of the game. And Cherokee started coming on in the second half. That's the end of the game. The final score, Dobbins Bennett 255, Cherokee 110. An enjoyable game. We hope that you've been playing along for the entire series. If so, you'll know just how sharp these kids really are. And these kids are our future, and that future's in good hands, isn't it? We hope you join us next time for Scholars Bowl. Coaches and teams, come up and congratulate these people. They did a good job. is made possible by the support of viewers like you. Today, two high school teams vie for the academic championship of our viewing area. This is Public TV's Scholars Poll. And today on Scholars Bowl, the Patriots of Jefferson County go head-to-head -head with the Indians of Dobbins Bennett in semifinal competition on Scholars Bowl. Hello and welcome to Scholars Bowl. I'm Jim Keen, the moderator. We are honored to have you with us today. And if you've been watching the last few games, you know that these games are getting very, very tight, very hard-fought games, and I'm sure today will be no difference. The next three games, as a matter of fact, the next two games will be the semifinals. The winner of these goes on to the finals in three weeks. We hope that you'll stay with us all the way through. Let's get to the introductions of the teams. 
First, the Jefferson County Patriots. Many of you have met these people before. We have Jennifer Strom, a senior, president of the German Club, the Science Club, the Beta Club, National Honor Society, Patriots Events Council, Governor's School for the Sciences, and salutatorian of the class. Chad Shepard, a senior, two silver medal winner for the National Latin Honor Society, the Beta Club, third place in the Math Masters Tournament, wants to be a computer programmer. The captain of the team, Jason McCarter, a senior, uh, the Governor's School, the Beta Club, German Club, Boys State, staff of the newspaper and literary magazines. And finally, across the desk, Jake Rosser, also a senior, the battalion commander for ROTC, the Beta Club, been accepted to West Point Naval Academy, Air Force Academy. You made a decision yet? J Air Force Academy decided to go to the Air Force Academy next year. Good luck. Who's who? The National Latin Honor Society, the gold medal Latin winner, academic All-American. The alternates for Jefferson County, we have Will Cola. He is a freshman, uh, history club, young astronauts club, beta club, science Olympiad winner, a uh, geography Olympiad winner wants to become a doctor. Rebecca McKnight, a junior, Governor's School for the Sciences, Science Club, Health Occupation Students of America, Beta Club, National Art Honor Society wants to be a veterinarian. Chris Brown. Chris is a freshman. He's in ROTC and football. Other things to come. Char uh, Carissa Holt, also a freshman. French Club, Scholastic Award for 1991, 4-H County Public Speaking Champion, uh, wants to go into medical research. Then we have the, uh, we have uh, Russ Dixon, a senior, wrestling team, National Honor Society, Who's Who, Tennessee Education 2000 participant, and the coach for the team, Drew Ann Overby, an English teacher. We finally have Chad Lehman, a senior, German Club, Beta Club, ROTC, a uh, color guard member. That's the Jefferson County Patriots meeting in this semifinal game with the Dobbins Bennett Indians. And here are the Indians teams. Mark Franklin, a junior, across the desk. The Junior Classical League, Beta Club, National Honor Society, National Thespian Society, American Mensa, National Latin Exam Honors. Jason Williams, a senior, National Merit Semifinalist. Junior Classical League, National Honor Society, Beta Club, School Literary Magazine uh, staff. The captain of the team, Chad Baker, a senior. National Merit Semifinalist, 1991 Governor's School for the Sciences, President of the National Honor Society. And finally across the desk, Spence Ganey. He's a senior, National Honor Society, Beta Club, Tennessee Governor's School for the Sciences. Two gold and one silver medal on the National Latin Exam. Guitar Club, Varsity Heavyweight Wrestler. The alternates, Glenn Fugit, a senior, uh, Holston Valley Hospital Chemistry Award, National Merit Commended Student, Beta Club, National Honor Society. Kelly Bergen, also a senior, National Honor Society, Beta Club, National Merit Finalist. Allison Dyer, a junior, National Honor Society, Odyssey of the Mind and the French Club. Stephen Kroll, a junior, uh, Junior Classical League, Carpenters Helpers, Chris Happany, a senior, National Honor Society Secretary, Beta Club, Vice President of the German Club. She's in the band and cro runs cross country. And we have Marion Kroll. Marion, you've been with us for the entire competition. Marion is a parent and also uh, naturally a chauffeur. The coach for the team, Linda Fonslow. She is the librarian. Those are the teams. This is the a semifinal game, the first semifinal game. Are both teams ready? Good luck to both teams on this game. We begin the first half, as usual, with a toss-up, and it's a sports toss-up. In what year was the World Series first played at night? Jason, Jefferson County. 1932. No, do you want to try it, Dobbins Bennett? Chad. 1945. No, you're getting closer. It was 1971. Here's a history toss-up. In what year did Abraham Lincoln issue the emancip... Jason, Jefferson County. 1863. Correct, Jefferson County. That's the year he issued, issued the Emancipation Proclamation. A bonus try for you, Jefferson County. For 10 points each, name the phylum in which each of these animals is classified. First, the sponge. Yeah. Periphera. Correct. And secondly, the round worm. Jason? The platyhelminthes? 
No, it's the nematodes, the nematoda. Here's a toss-up for both teams now. On July 20th, 1969, he became the second man to walk on the moon. Jason Jefferson County. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin, correct. His first name, Edwin. Here's a, a, a bonus try for you, Jefferson County. Robert Browning wrote a poem with a one-word title that means look forward. For 20 points, what is that title? Jason? Here. No, it's Prospeaky. Prospeaky. <coughs> a toss-up for both teams. Identical twins are produced from division of a single fertilized egg. What? Jason Dobbins Bennett. Is that good? No, I'll read the whole question for Jefferson County. Identical twins are produced from division of a single fertilized egg. What type of twins are produced from two separate fertilized eggs? Jason Jefferson County. Fraternal. Fraternal is correct. A bonus try for you, Jefferson County. No work except the Bible has been more widely used, edited, or studied, and probably no work has exercised a greater influence on scientific thinking. Over a thousand editions of this work have appeared since the first one printed in, in 1482, and for more than two millennia this work has dominated all teaching of geometry. For ten points each, tell me first the name of this work. Jason? The Elements. Correct. Secondly, tell me the author of the work. Euclid. Euclid is correct. 20 points for you, Jefferson County. Here's a toss-up for both teams again. As the first Secretary of the Treasury, Jake, Jefferson County. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Jefferson County. I'll define two standard mathematical terms. For 10 points each, please identify the exact one-word terms. In the standard quadratic formula, the expression b squared minus 4ac, what is that? The discriminant. The discriminant is correct. Secondly, the multiplicative inverse of a number. The reciprocal. Correct. 20 points for you, Jefferson County. Here's a toss-up again for both teams. Both teams ready. What country was the first to use nuclear energy to Jason Jefferson County? The United States. The United States, right, to power ships and submarines. A bonus try for you, Jefferson County. A palindrome is a word or phrase that reads the same backward and forward. For 10 points each, name the one-word palindrome that satisfies the following definitions. First, an amusing remark or trick, a joke. A gag. Gag is correct. Secondly, a doctrine, principle, be belief, or opinion held as true by a school, sect, party, or person. Jason? I have no idea. That is a tenet, T-E-N-E-T. A toss-up for both teams again. What is the oldest female university, Jason Jefferson County? Mount Holyoke. No. Do you want to try it, Dobbins Bennett? I'll read the whole question for you. What is the oldest female university in the United States? Chad. Oberlin. No, it's Vassar, founded in 1861. A toss-up for both teams again. What word means the act of setting free by being declared not guilty of the crime? Jason Jefferson County. Acquitted. Acquitted, acquitted or acquittal, correct. Here's a 20-point bonus try for you, Jefferson County. Given the formula for finding the area of a geometrical figure, you identify the figure for 10 points each. First, multiply the length of one side by itself. A square. Square is correct. Secondly, add the two parallel sides, multiply by the height, and divide by two. Jason? Trapezoid. Trapezoid, correct. 20 points for you. Another 10-point toss-up for both teams. This document is printed every day by the U.S. Chad Dobbins Bennett. Congressional record? Congressional record, right. <laughs> Contains the amount of verbiage of Congress. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. The specific heat of water. 
is one calorie per gram per degree centigrade for twenty points how many calories are needed to raise the temperature of forty grams of water by fifteen degrees six hundred six hundred is correct fifteen times forty here's a toss up for both teams what term is described to be a substance or combination of substances that increases the rate of a chemical reaction jason jefferson county a solution no i'll give it to dobbins bennett and read the whole question for you what term jason dobbins bennett catalyst catalyst is correct it's never itself permanently changed a bonus try for you dobbins bennett i'll give descriptions of two meteorological terms for 10 points each, identify the terms that fit these descriptions. First, the name used in Australia for a tropical storm. In Australia. Typhoon? No, that's a willy willy. Secondly, the name for the briefest and most violent of all storms. These storms are much more frequent in the United States than anywhere. Tornado? Oh, correct. 10 points for you, Dobbins Bennett, on that bonus. Another 10-point toss-up for both teams. This president submitted a plan to Congress suggesting that he be allowed to appoint one Supreme Court justice for each one who failed, Chad Dobbins Bennett. Thomas Jefferson? No, I'll read the whole question for Jefferson County. This president submitted a plan to Congress suggesting that he be allowed to appoint one Supreme Court justice for each one who failed to retire at the age of 70 and to increase the number of justices from 9 to 15, who was this president? Jason. Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Delano Roosevelt is correct. Here is a bonus try for you, Jefferson County. If you change the pitch or key of a musical composition without any other changes, what is that process called? Transposing. Transposing is correct. The process is called transposition. Here's a toss-up for both teams. For 10 points, give me the word that as a verb means to beg and as a noun refers to a narrow projecting strip of land. Jason Jefferson County. Peninsula. We, we, the judges judge that that was a delay. Dobbins Bennett, do you want to try it? Chad. Peninsula. No, it's panhandle. A toss-up for both teams now. For 10 points, listen carefully and tell me which one of the following five cities is not on the Mississippi River. The cities are Baton Rouge, St. Louis, Nashville, Memphis, Chad, Dobbins Bennett. Nashville. Nashville is correct. Here's a bonus drive for you, Dobbins Bennett. The Arts Center in New York contains the Metropolitan Opera House and Philharmonic Hall. What is that center called? Lincoln Center. That's correct. The full name is Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts. Here's another toss-up for both teams. About, that's the end of the first half, a very hard-fought first half. I think you can see the sweat beads beginning to appear on their foreheads. We'll be back with the second half of this semifinal game. The score right now, Dobbins Bennett, 80, Jefferson County, 170. First, we invite you to join us in watching this. This year's Scholars Bowl competition is a single elimination tournament featuring 40 teams from high schools in our viewing area. Be sure to watch these upcoming games.
The winning team in this year's Scholars Bowl tournament will receive the Scholars Bowl Traveling Trophy, donated by All-American Trophies of Knoxville. In addition, the top four placing teams will receive plaques from All-American Trophies. The second place team will receive a set of World Book Encyclopedia, donated by Mary Brown, the local sales representative of World Book. The first place team will receive a $1,000 scholarship donated by Irene and Dudley Brewer of Knoxville. For the fifth year, the judges for our Scholars Bowl tournament are Elizabeth Martinson, retired school teacher from Knoxville, and Dr. Victor Hobday, retired from the University of Tennessee. Our scorekeeper is Ann Parrott, a public TV volunteer. If you'd like to enter your high school team in next year's Scholars Bowl, or for more information or comments on this year's tournament, write to the address shown on the screen. Welcome back to the second half of Scholars Bowl as we progress through. A very exciting game we have going. This, the winner of this game goes directly on to the finals. We have some substitutions on the teams. First on the bottom row for Jefferson County, we have Rebecca McKnight joining the team. And for Dobbins Bennett on the top, we have Allison Dyer and Glenn Fugit. Welcome. Both teams ready. We're going to begin the second half as the first with a toss-up. Here is that toss-up. About two million Americans over the age of 35 have this disease, which is characterized by a buildup of fluid. Jason Jefferson County. Glaucoma. Glaucoma, buildup of fluid in the eye. Here's a bonus try for you, Jefferson County. This French philosopher admired what he called the noble savage and wrote the social contract in which he described the ideal society. For 20 points, name him. Jason? Rousseau. Rousseau, correct. Jacques Rousseau. A toss-up for both teams now. Of the first six U.S. presidents, who was the only one? Jason, Jefferson County. John Quincy Adams. No, I'll read the whole question for Dobbins Bennett. Of the first six U.S. presidents, who was the only one never to attend college? Allison, Dobbins George Bennett. George Washington. George Washington, correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. She referred to poetry as imaginary gardens with real toads in them. For 20 points, name her. Emily Dickinson. No, it's Marianne Moore. A toss-up for both teams now, and it's a mathematical toss-up. For 10 points, which of the following numbers is the smallest? 5 cubed, 4 to the 4th power, or 3 to the 5th power? Allison Dobbins-Bennett. Three to the fifth. No, do you want to try at Jefferson County? Jake. Hey, it's the four. I uh, for forgot the root or the No, the it's power. irrelevant because it's five cubed. That equals 125. Four to the fourth is 256, and three to the fifth is 249. Nobody got that toss-up. We'll put another toss-up on the table for both teams. Andrew Mellon, Secretary of the Treasury under three administrations, established, endowed, and gave his art collection to one of the most famous galleries in the world. What is its name? Jason Jefferson County. The Louvre. No. Do you want to try it, Dobbins Bennett? It, Chad. The Guggenheim Museum. No, it's the National Gallery of Art. A toss-up for both teams again. Who, on May 5th, 1961, became the first Jason Jefferson County? Gargarin. No, I'll read the whole question for Dobbins Bennett. Who, on May 5th, 1961, became the first U.S. astronaut to travel into space? Chad, Dobbins Bennett. Alan Shepard. Alan Shepard, correct. Here is a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. The literal translation of this common Latin term means fostering mother. We use it metaphorically. What is the term? Alma mater. Alma mater, correct. 20 points for you, Dobbins Bennett, as the game continues to tighten. Here is another toss-up for both teams. In which ocean will you find zero degrees latitude and Jason Jefferson County? Atlantic. Atlantic, correct. Zero degrees latitude, zero degrees longitude. Here's a 20-point bonus try for you, Jefferson County. A large number of satellites now orbit the Earth. Their orbits vary in closeness to the Earth from the perigee to the apogee. For 20 points, is a satellite closer to the Earth at its perigee or apogee? It's apogee. No, it's perigee. 
Okay, here's another toss-up for both teams. Name the first person to demand and receive $1 million for making a motion picture. Jason Jefferson County. Let's Bogart. No. Uh, Dobbins Bennett. Elizabeth Taylor. A toss-up for both teams again. For 10 points, what is the standard mathematical adjective that refers to two figures that are identical in shape and Jason Jefferson County? Congruent. Congruent, correct. Identical in size and shape. A 20-point bonus try for you, Jefferson County. Relativity asserts that the universe must be in dynamic flux, but Einstein, not believing this to be the case, modified his equations to allow for a static universe. Edwin Hubble discovered something in 1929 that refuted Einstein's static universe. For 20 points, what did he discover? Answer, Jason. Gravity waves. No, he discovered that the universe is expanding, or phrased another way, the red shift of distant galaxies. Here's another toss-up for both teams for 10 points. In September 1960, Ted Williams came to the plate for the last time. What did he do? Jason Jefferson County. Hit a home run. Hit a home run. That's correct. What a way to go out. Here's a 20-point bonus try for you, Jefferson County. For 10 points each, answer these questions related to pirates. First, in 75 B.C., a man who later became head of state was captured by pirates and held for ransom. On payment of the ransom, he was released. He returned with an armed band, captured the pirates, and had them executed. Who was he? Jason? Julius Caesar. Why did you throw your arms up? That's the correct answer. Secondly... From the 16th century until 1830, when France conquered Algeria, this North African area was a pirate refuge. Name it. Jason? The Barbary Coast. Barbary Coast is correct. 20 points for you, Jefferson County. Here's a 10-point toss-up for both teams. Some people say that this painting by Norman Rockwell has been reproduced. Jason, Jefferson County. Kid in the barbershop. No, <coughs> so I'll read the whole question for Dobbins Bennett. Some people say that this painting by Norman Rockwell has been reproduced more than any other painting in the world. What is the title of that painting? Chad Dobbins Bennett. American Gothic. No, it's The Four Freedoms. And I think the name brings the picture to mind. Here's a toss-up for both teams again. Listen carefully. Here's a mathematical toss-up question. A certain rectangle has a length equal to three times its width. For ten points, if the rectangle's perimeter is 32 feet, what is its width? Jason Dobbins Bennett. Eight. No, do you want to try it, Jefferson County? Jake. Four. Four feet, correct. Here's a 20-point bonus try for you, Jefferson County. Many sports have specialized terms that are particular to that sport. I'll name four such terms. For five points each, you name the sport. First, TKO. Boxing. Boxing, correct. Secondly, mixer. Jason? Horse racing. No, that's bowling. Thirdly, reliever. Baseball. Baseball, correct. And last, hat trick. Hockey. Uh, yeah, okay, ice hockey, correct. That's three out of the four to 15 points for you, Jefferson County, another 10-point toss-up. For 10 points, name the military leader who ruled England as dictator with the title of Lord Protector, Jason Dobbins Bennett. Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell, correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Dobbins Bennett. Some scientists believe that the burning of fuels over the past 100 years has caused an increase in the Earth's surface temperature by adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. For 20 points, what is this effect called? Greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect, correct. That's 20 points for you, Dobbins Bennett, and another toss-up. Paula Abdul choreographed the work of this popular group for their 1980 Jason Jefferson County. New kids on the block. No, I'll read the whole question for Dobbins Bennett. Paula Abdul choreographed the work of this popular group for the 1987 tour called It's Cool to Stay in School. Who are they? Jason Dobbins Bennett. No, it's cool in the gang. Here's a toss-up for both teams again. It was assessed 
on newspapers, ship's papers, legal papers. Jason, Jefferson County. The Stamp Act. The Stamp Act, correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Jefferson County, for 20 points. Name the ancient Greek philosopher, the author of Poetics, who is most closely associated with the Lyceum. Jason? Aristotle. Aristotle, correct. Here's a toss-up for both teams. In music, a sign indicating a momentary departure from the key signature can be indicated with a symbol for a sharp, a flat, or a natural. What's the indication called? Jason Jefferson County. Key signature. No. Do you want to try it, Dobbins Bennett? Glenn. Musical notation. No, it's called an accidental. A toss-up for both teams now. In 1928, he said, The poor house is vanishing. From among us we shall soon, with the help of God, be in sight of the day when poverty will be banished from this nation. Jason, Jefferson County. Hoover. Hoover is correct. Here's a bonus try for you, Jefferson County. This question deals with literature. You'll receive 20 points after the first clue, 15 points after the second. That's incorrect. You receive 10 points for the first clue, 5 after the second, and 5 after the third. Number one, it's... We won't get to it, but that's the end of the game. The winner of this semifinal competition, Jefferson County, by a score of 315 to 150, a very well-fought game. Jefferson County, we will see you back for the final game. Dobbins Bennett, you fought well this year, progressing to the semifinals. Thank you for coming in. We thank you for watching. We hope you had some fun. And we hope that you will admire and respect both of these teams for what they have accomplished this year. Teams and coaches here to be congratulated, come forward, congratulate your teams.